Uh, why do you why, why why do you have a museum for penises? Well, uh, it's not that we're a particularly phallic culture. It's just uh, well, our founder likes to like to push people's buttons, and well, it's it's become a thing. It's popular. Yeah, I, I think it's a great idea. Can you just walk our listeners or our viewers through just the different array of penises that you've got? Well, we have uh, well over 100 species of mammal and over 350 actual penises and, well, phalluses or phallus items and, well, up to almost 600 cultural items and pieces of art. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's an impressive collection, I think. And as far as we know, we're verified as having the largest collection in the world. OK, yeah, good. Um, and as it stands, though, you are missing one crucial item. Is that right? You have not got a human penis. Oh, yes, we do. We do. We, we do? Have a, oh, so when, yes, when did this happen? Oh. When did this happen? Well, because I thought, I thought you, were on the, you were on the lookout for a human penis, weren't you? Well, we were, but in 2011, we uh, got a human penis from a 95-year-old Icelandic scoundrel. A 95, what? A 95-year-old Icelandic, what, sorry? Uh, I, I guess you could call him a scoundrel. He was, scoundrel? Uh, he was a well-known woman. What does that mean? Is he, was he, what does that mean? What, describe, describe this man to me. I can only see a certain little bit of him now. <laughs> well, he was a, uh, he was an entrepreneur. He was a, a pioneer in the tourist industry, tourist industry. And he claimed to have betted over 300 women in his time. Gosh, OK, wow. And I take it he's got a big penis? Well, at about 75 years of age, usually the penis begins to shrink. And he was 95. And it keeps on That's shrinking. Devastating news. Hang on a minute. Oh, to be fair, it's all right. I'll probably be dead by then anyway. Right, OK. But seriously, I'm intrigued to know how you, how you got, got into this. Because, you know, look, hey, there's, there's loads of different museums, loads of different things. Your one happens to be about the phallus. Why? Why, why did you decide to work there? Well, it's not the kind of job you apply for. I married the, well, founder's granddaughter. Oh, OK. All right, fine. So you got, yeah, OK, you're, you're a part of the family. You're a part of the family. Have you got, of all of the ones of all the different mammals and all those things, have you got a favourite? Well, at the moment, I, I, guess, I guess I could say so, yeah, the, the walrus. Walrus. Why the, really the well, why the walrus? Well, people are surprised at how uh, well, extremely big and well, especially for an animal of that size. It's a big animal, but it is an extremely large penis, and uh, well, it, people are happily surprised when they see it. I tell. Not the size. OK, all right. OK, well, that's Thordar Thordarson. Yes, and we'll just give him a round of applause for that. Thank you very much. Oh, I tell you, you what, this is brilliant. So he's a curator there at a penis museum in Iceland, which is a phrase I never thought I'd say on national television. Go into journalism, they said. You know, you have all these worthy intentions. Maybe you want to be a war correspondent. Maybe you want to break hard-hitting political stories. No, he said I went to Reykjavik to talk about a bloke who collects penises. But actually... Hey, well, I'll tell you what, it's something different, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, go listen to BBC. Um, <laughs> Leo, your thoughts? I can't believe I've only got 30 years left of having a massive <laughs> penis. <laughs> Good gosh. Leo Kurtz, everybody, never knowingly undersold. Dave, your thoughts? My penis trivia. Did you know in ancient Greece, uh, actually, a small penis was better? Well, no, no. no. That's what, that's this what is I, true. Yeah, go on. They said it meant you're more cerebral. That no, mean... no, 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 no. It was a large penis was a sign of wastage. Therefore, if you had a large penis, you were weak. That if you had rule... a small penis, like I do, then that would mean that you were very, uh, you were very strong, like I am. That rule was written by somebody with a small penis. I can tell. Well, or a very, very understanding wife. I'm sorry that I wrote that. <laughs> okay. Uh,